In fact, I recently discovered the call in Colorado and other cities likely as well are, are literally claiming to be a zero energy district. A zero energy district. This is massive genocide. We cannot survive without CO2. Again, the falsification and the reality and the purpose of what CO2 does. They want to reduce it to zero. That means none of us will exist, but that is the plan. So it's important to understand the rollout on these financing opportunities to indebt you further are going to occur very quickly in 2015. And what does this look like and what can you do to investigate that these plans are occurring in your community right now? Well, I'm going to tell you. You can find out if you have K as in Paul, A, C as in Cat, E, PACE financing in your city, because we have it here in Sonoma County and all of California. The financing allows 7% simple interest for a 10 or 20 year term. They also have three other lending programs, one they call California Hero. I want you to pay close attention to these names. They're luring us in by deceptive names, double speak, by words that don't make any sense. How is forcing you to take a loan to reduce your CO2 that's based on false science get away with calling it a hero loan, which means home energy renovation opportunity? The O in hero is opportunity. The terms on this loan are five to 25 year terms with interest rates ranging from a 5% 5.75% uh, to 8.25% dependent upon the term. We discovered more importantly that uh, the financing allows for the um, of course energy upgrade requirements of these climate action plans that your city will force upon you. Now it's very important they tell you that this financing is voluntary. Well who out there is going to be able to replace all your appliances, potentially replace all of your windows, add insulation to your walls, your ceiling, etc. And uh, add cool roofs, uh, change out heat and air, and um, also eliminate all gas appliances. Gas appliances are part of the elimination in this plan, in the Santa Rosa plan here in Northern California that was adopted over two years ago. They're eliminating gas appliances and gas equipment. This is nationwide. Investigate this. Energy Star rated appliances uh, are not manufacturing gas. So we like to say you can kiss your gas goodbye. But more importantly, all of these costs go on your property tax bill. So that if they should need to foreclose on you, because your indebtedness is such when you're on a fixed income you can't afford this, they can easily do that. Now what is this going to mean to owners of apartment buildings and multifamily construction? Well, first I know that many people are choosing to no longer um, renew their operating business licenses with their buildings to literally agree with the cities um, that they're going to conduct business within the cities under plans that none of us knew about, uh, had no knowledge, certainly would never have consented to. Again, our cities do not work for us. This is a corporate takeover. And they are increasing the cost for us to live in um, our private homes. Also, it's important to note, during the meeting that we recently attended, a local school uh, is that has had three different campuses spread throughout the city was told that one location must close down uh, in a year and a half. So they found a new location outside the city uh, growth boundary. Uh, and the city is telling them it's, to, it's a new location to consolidate all their classrooms onto one 20 acre campus of which they would use 10 acres is too automobile eccentric that the children would have to be driven to school, where uh, now many of these locations are, are accessible by the children walking. 
They also said that the new proposed location is in sprawl because it's outside the city growth boundary. They also said that the city would not serve them with water or, uh, would, or, or would not want to be expected to serve them with 911. Um, and I can tell you, right now, right here in Northern California, our uh, rural firefighting um, departments are being consolidated. This is another way in which they're going to force people out or attempt to force people out of the rural country areas by not providing emergency services. These plans are taking place right now in Sonoma County and likely they're going to start occurring if they haven't already in your rural areas as well, your country areas as well. The fire chiefs in these departments are extremely concerned about the plans to consolidate them. They have no idea of the bigger plan. This is exactly what the plan is. So I urge all of you to um, certainly uh, listen or watch the YouTube Who is Running America and the Cap. Please share that far and wide as well as the other YouTubes that you can get on the YouTube channel of StopTheCrime.net.